you describe working for Trump as thrilling as first, comparing it to an all-inclusive resort hotel that went down very quickly. Um, what, what was the moment where things started to change for you? Well, listen, um, when people describe President Trump and they say, I really like him, I like his policies, he's so tough, he's so passionate, but I wish he would do this or say this or stop tweeting or not say such vulgar things or whatever people want him to change. I respond and say, President Trump, like many other human beings, is a package. You get all or nothing and you're not going to change him. He's not going to stop doing the things he's been doing basically his entire life. So you can decide it's a yes or a no. Are you in or are you out? And I was in. I was completely in, even with all of the foibles that everyone has already identified, and I don't need to go through them again, until January 6th. January 6th changed everything, and it changed everything for two reasons. Reason one is we are looked upon by the world as the best in handing the keys over to our successor when we transfer power. We don't do it with guns. We don't do it with coercion. And these things that we do symbolically, where one uh, person goes to the White House and is greeted by the other person, and they smile and shake hands, even though they hate each other's guts, and they ride in the car together, talking pleasantries, even though they hate each other's guts, and they stand up on the podium, and one looks gazingly at the other while the other's giving their inaugural, inaugural address, again, hating each other's guts, and then they leave a note in the drawer. Uh, in the Oval Office. And other than leaving the note in the drawer, which as I understand President Trump did for President Biden, he didn't participate in any of the other important rituals, which really sends a bad message to other fledgling democracies and autocracies that want to become democracies. Mm -hmm. The second thing is he could have done a lot more to immediately stop what happened on January 6th at the Capitol. And for those two things, uh, it, it was a no for me after that. Until then, I was in. 